Happy Tuesday morning, my friends. Happy Tuesday morning. Welcome to our morning mana short devotional. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe and click the join button if you want to become a member. And there are certain perks you can enjoy once you're a member. Well, today's devotional is entitled Exercise Courage. Exercise Courage. What is faith? It's more than trust or feelings. It's not merely something we think or know. Faith has a life of its own, and to achieve it, we must put it to work. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13 commanded us to watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong. The Bible said, be strong. As Christians, Faith is the foundation on which we stand. We reap the benefits, promises, and gifts of God because of faith. However, faith counts for nothing if it's not put to the test. Faith is ignited when we risk the safety and security of our comfortable and familiar surroundings and venture into the unknown. It's only when we have nothing of ourselves left that God can step in. When we're free falling, God shows up and confirms our faith. We all admire courage when we see it. We often think of it being exemplified by men and women in the military or by others caught in the war zones. We see it in acts of bravery by police officers, rescue crews, reformers, and others. But courage is needed throughout the vast scope of human life by all of us. Like parents often need courage in seeking to do what's best for their children. School teachers may need it to deal with difficulties in the classroom. Business owners may have to resist pressures to use unethical means in conducting their businesses. Even teens often need courage to quietly stand up to intense peer pressure or bullying at school and live and act in accord with their highest sense of what's right. Whatever the circumstances, true courage is a moral quality that ultimately has its source in God and partakes of genuine goodness. It's manifested in a humble stand of what is right or a selfless willingness to do what is difficult in order to bless others. Courage is also magnif um, uh, manifested in the willingness to follow and trust God, to trust the unseen spiritual realities of our eternal relationship to him as his loved child. The Bible speaks of Abraham who left the land of his kindred and the worship of idols because he had come to understand that there is one God and infinite spirit, divine love, who is made known unto us throughout the Bible. The book of Hebrews says, and I quote, By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into the place which he should after receive of an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. God has become very real to Abraham. He didn't know where he was going, but throughout his innate his spiritual sense, he heard God's call distinctly. And he followed God's leading with implicit trust. We all have opportunities in small or large ways to exercise such courage through our own God-given spiritual sense. Wait on the Lord, says the Bible. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms chapter 27 verse 14. When we are sincerely turned to God and lean on Him for help, God does strength 
than our heart. He expresses in us the capacity to do right in whatever direction is needed. Unfailing spirit, infinite love, motivates and animates all right actions in us and sustains us in every difficulty. Well, thank you so much for watching or even listening to this short devotional. I hope this message bless your heart as you proceed to your work today. See you again tomorrow. Shall we pray? Father, thank you so much, Lord, for this morning. Thank you for this opportunity that you have uh, showed us and opened to all of us. I love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, thank you so much. And I see you tomorrow. God bless you and bye-bye.